Hey friends, I noticed that there is a bit of a lack of content surrounding the release of Charioteer, so I thought I would give everybody a little bit better look at what comes in the box here. My copy is already opened, so this is not a true unboxing video, but you'll get a better look at the components and the rule book and all the stuff that is in the box with it. I got mine on the P500 program from GMT Games, which made it about $50 uh, plus shipping. I believe it's on retail for $85 now. So as we look at the box, you can see the artwork here, Charioteer, pretty straightforward racing game. Although you've got enough strategy and choice to make it interesting. Um, GMT rates their games with complexity and solitaire suitability, pretty low solitaire suitability, um, and it's also not that complex. The rule book is only 10 pages. So as we get our box opened, you'll see the more kind of classic looking artwork that's on the rule book. Looks a lot like a movie poster from the 50s or 60s, kind of Ben Hur vibes. Um, about 10 pages that goes over all of the different cards, movements, and strategies. Um, there are also tokens that you can play in conjunction with the cards that will give you advantages in certain ways. Uh, the board is actually two map boards, each with one half of the stadium. Get this out of the way. And as you can see, it's your basic racetrack with a crowd around it. It has pretty good size to it. Uh, as you can look and see, you'll also notice that the corners of the map have extra spaces to simulate how you slow down to go around a corner. Each player gets a player guide here that shows all the different icons, the types of movement, um, and then a skill track for the different moves that you can make. And you advance along that skill track and get movement bonuses at the end um, to give you advantages on those types of moves. And then your chariot can also take damage on certain turns and accumulate damage over time that will slow you down. Comes with six different colors, yellow, gray, dark blue, light blue, which has an interesting typo on this upper left corner. The sprint icon is red when it should be green. You got pink and Kind of an ugly lime green, but it's not too bad. Next, we've got our main deck of cards here. It's a pretty large deck, I believe. It's 147, 149 cards. Again, got the nice artwork on the back. They're actually high quality cards. Um, other GMT games, I have the Commands and Colors series. Those cards kind of tend to flake after a while on the edges if you shuffle them. Uh, these cards seem to be able to be shuffled easily without taking too much damage or anything like that. Uh, you see you have the different move types, and you have to match those across cards to get your movement done. Uh, you've also got skill cards. These are assigned randomly at the beginning of the game to show what your charioteer is good at or bad at. You've got your wooden cubes for damage. Not too special, but good quality blue wooden cubes. These are the wooden columns that show your skill advancement on your tracker. So you might put them here and then they would eventually move all the way across. Uh, then we've got our actual playing pieces here. Here's our lime green charioteer. 
And again, nice and sturdy, but not anything incredible. Uh, we've got our lap marker. Game lasts for three laps. We would put that on that end over here. And flip that over. Uh, we've also got our custom Emperor die, which shows what uh, move we'll be able to gain skills from more quickly on that move, which belongs on this right side over here. We've got our player tokens that help us out, uh, that give you movement bonuses on certain types. So you have to play these in conjunction with the type of move that you're making. Each player starts out with five of those, one in each color. And then we've also got our fan tokens, and it came with this black cloth bag so that you can draw them out without seeing what the tokens are. And if you make a particularly good move, you'll get these, which can also give you movement advantages or allow you to discard cards and other things like that. That is pretty much all of the components that come in the game. It does have a nice insert to keep everything organized on the inside of the box. And overall for the P500, um, the game is fun enough that I definitely feel like I got my money's worth on this one. Retail, I would probably, I might hesitate a little bit more. Um, but overall, great game. We got it out at a party night with several more casual players and they understood it quite easily and made for a fun game. Now you can see how crowd cards come out. They'll help, um, your movement, Emperor Die, and then this nice long track that actually makes it pretty satisfying when you hit good moves, um, because you can see the distance that you've gone. Overall, a great game, really enjoying it. Uh, definitely gonna be hitting the table a lot with uh, my friends and I, so hopefully this will make it easier for other people to make the decision to get this game as well, because we really enjoyed it. All right, thanks for joining me.